Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. So today we've got the first part in a series called Data Lake in a Day. This has been available on the GitHub repository for a while, uh, so you may have already seen it. The series was designed as a single day workshop where we take you through uh, what is a data lake, how do you construct your first data lake using Data Factory, um, also ingesting data from a different source, so in this case it's going to be weather data using a logic app, and then uh, manipulating that data using data flows in, in Data Factory, and then on to ingesting that into a data warehouse. So uh, the reason why we're using data flows is it's nice and visual, it's very simple. Uh, there is a version of this using uh, Databricks, which is much more common in uh, final solutions that, that we see out there. But for demo purposes, you don't really need to understand the code or anything like that. So it's a bit dry when we just give you a script and you know you copy and paste that script and run it. it it's just boring. Uh, whereas this, you you can actually physically see what's going on, so it's much easier. So um, please bear in mind that the uh, the series is not designed to teach you everything about the data lake. It's designed to make sure that you understand the concepts of a data lake and that actually they're not that complicated. For the most part, it's just data coming from a system as a file, quite often a CSV or a TSV, getting transformed. So when we say transformed, what we actually mean is adding and enriching uh, that data with other sources. So in this instance, weather data, do we sell more stuff when it's hot? Uh, kind of a question. And then uh, creating a model for that and bringing it into something like Power BI to show that back to the users. Um, but because the data is then on the lake or, or in a data warehouse, we can use it for many, many purposes. So uh, it's nice and extensible. And in other demos uh, on the site, you'll see things like IoT can absolutely feed into a data lake. So it's a, an extensible kind of infrastructure. Uh, with that, um, we'll start the demo. This episode is just setting up the infrastructure. There are several more in the series, so uh, check back soon for the next part. Thanks very much, enjoy. So for this demo, uh, we're gonna start in the GitHub repository. This was designed as a workshop, so there is a deploy script in here. So if you go to uh, the link, which is down below in the description of the video, then uh, it will take you straight here. So on the main instruction page, if you just scroll down, uh, you'll get to the deploy to Azure button. Just give that a click. Uh, there's also a bunch of information at the top there just about what we're gonna deploy. Uh, how the workshop is going to progress, that kind of thing. So give that a read if, you, if you'd like. Uh, so when we click on that button, we get taken into the Azure portal. Just log in if you're not already logged in and create a new resource group called Data Lake in a Day. And we'll deploy to East US. Everything's been tested there, so I know it works. And for the admin password, I generally just say type password123$ uh, with a capital P. That solves all of the uh, password requirements. Uh, and when we run this as a workshop, it makes sure that everybody can actually remember the password all through the day. So then click on the deploy button and uh, you'll see your deployment is underway and then you'll start seeing resource getting created. So I've sped this part of the video up. Uh, it does take 10 to 15 minutes to fully deploy everything. Uh, so don't feel that you have to sit there. You can walk away, you can close the window and it will just carry on in the background. So here you can see it's created a bunch of networking and storage um, VNets in there and a couple of virtual machines. And uh, the SQL server has to then install SQL on top of the virtual machine. So that one takes the, the longest of all of them. So once that's completed, we're going to run a script to hydrate that database this is just gonna be a um, example sales database that we can pull data from. And this is a stand-in for your on-premises uh, system. So we're going to use a uh, integration runtime to get at that data later as if it's on your own network. So first things first, we need to log into the SQL virtual machine. Make sure it's the one with virtual machine written next to it. The SQL server part is a management uh, thing, so you won't be able to log in through there. So click connect and choose RDP download the RDP file 
and then uh, find the download and just open that file. That takes you to Remote Desktop Connection. Click on Connect, and then you're going to need to log in as uh, Demo God, which is the standard user account that we use for these demos, and the password, which was password one two three dollar with a capital P. Uh, we put the dot slash at the beginning of Demo God just to say it's a local account to the server, and then we say yes to the certificate because we know we're logging into the demo machine. So this is logging into a standard Windows machine um, that's just been configured on Azure. Because it, it's the first login, it will take a few minutes just to run through updates and, and whatever it needs to do, set up a user profile for you. So while that's happening, go back onto the website and go to Lab 1 and then scroll down to the SQL data section and click on the link to get to the SQL script. Uh, press Control A to select all and then just copy that. Uh, so we're going to run this script in the SQL Server using SQL Management Studio um, just to fill it with data and, and get a few thousand rows of data in there. So click on Start and go to SQL Server Management Tools and SQL Server Management Studio. And again, this is going to take a few minutes to launch just because it's the first time it's being run through. Uh, it goes through and does a few updates and things like that. Um, I have sped this up again but once it's launched uh, just click connect we're using Windows authentication which is the same account that we've uh, we've just logged in with and then hit new query and then once that loads right click and paste the query data and this is just a bunch of create tables and inserts um, hit execute it's a very large query, so it will take a while to run. Again, I've sped this up a lot so that it happens quickly for the video. And then you can see you've got some uh, tables within that database. And then just close that window and you're ready to run with the next, uh, next session, which will be available soon. So that's the setup done. Uh, you should now have the infrastructure configured. Uh, you should have data in your SQL database. Uh, in the next episode, we're gonna take that data from a SQL database using Data Factory and actually pull it into the data lake and, and start working with it. So hope to see you next time. If you enjoyed the video and the series, then please hit subscribe below. Uh, also hit that like button, uh, always helps out the channel. And uh, check out all of the previous videos that I've done uh, a lot of those are going to be fairly useful uh, around this subject. So thanks very much. See you next time.